What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install your NVIDIA drivers. And this also works for upgrading your drivers. Though if you already have it installed, uh, there's a much easier method, which I'll show you in another video. But this will probably work for everyone. If you don't have it, you can install it. If you do have it, it'll still upgrade your drivers. So uh, pretty straightforward video. Uh, before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. So onto the video itself. Let's go ahead and place myself in somewhere that makes sense. And we're in the NVIDIA website. Let's go ahead and go to drivers in the top right hand corner. I'll place a link to this in the description and you can go ahead and search for your specific driver. You can always use the automatic driver installer as well, but we're gonna go ahead and choose our driver here. So for example, I'm on a 4070, so I'm gonna choose RTX 40 series. And then I'm gonna go ahead and choose the 4070 here. Actually, I'm a 4070 Ti, so I need to choose that one. And I am on Windows 11, and I'm gonna choose the Game Ready driver. We can also choose the Studio driver, but for now we'll choose Game Ready and hit Search. Now it takes us to the latest Game Ready driver for that version. We see it works for Windows 10 and Windows 11. It is 551.76. Let's go ahead and download that. And it'll take us to the downloader. Let's go ahead and hit download here. And it's in the top right hand corner. Once that finishes downloading, we're just gonna go ahead and click on the installer. Let's minimize this to get rid of clutter. We'll press uh, run here. You may get a user access control uh, prompt. If that comes up, just hit yes and press okay. The driver will extract first before the actual installation process starts. And now the actual installer is uh, starting up. It'll check compatibility to make sure that you actually chose the correct card or there's a supported card within this driver package. Uh, generally, most cards are supported, so even if you downloaded the wrong one, it should still detect which card you're using, but if you're on a legacy card, you will need to go back and find uh, the latest driver for your version because it will not be the same. Otherwise, if it detected the appropriate card, you can go ahead and choose whether you want to install just the driver or the driver and the GeForce Experience. If you want an easy way to upgrade your driver in the future, I definitely recommend using the GeForce Experience. If you don't mind doing this each time you want to upgrade, you can just install the driver itself. I'm going to install both and I'll click agree and continue. Now we can choose express install or custom. If I go to custom, we can see what that entails and Basically, that just allows us to choose to perform a clean installation, and that's going to remove all of the default drivers, all the default profiles, and essentially acts like it's a brand new install. So if you made some changes to uh, your graphic settings and things aren't performing well and you think it's not necessarily the driver, it's something you did in the past, um, maybe do a clean install. Otherwise, you generally don't have to do this. So I'm not even going to do this one. I'm going to go back and just do a standard install here and I'll do express and hit next. And then it's just gonna go ahead and install. I'm gonna pause the video real quick because I'm sure this is gonna stop recording uh, once it resets my graphics driver. And that's it. Let's go ahead and open up GeForce Experience now that the installer has finished. And we can go to drivers and we'll see that the driver is now there. Uh, so yeah, if you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace. Mike the tech, the architect, huh? Mike the tech, Mike the tech, yeah. Mike the tech, the architect, huh?